G'day. My name's Nathan Linzel, and welcome to episode number 45 of The Fine Art of Distraction. So, on today's episode, I'm actually a special guest on the Fluid Art Express! yee All aboard! <laughs> and right before me was the amazing Taz Lima of Taz Lima Mayer Art. And I know I say this every single time, but please do yourself a favour, go check out her channel because she's insanely awesome! yee <laughs> Right after me on the Fluid Art Express, we've got our fearsome leader, our train conductor, Darren, aka Wombat from Venom Fluid Art. Right after him, we've got Christy of Christy's Creation. Then we've got Shannon from Shambay Fluid Art, followed by Bubbles from also from Venom Fluid Art. Then wrapping it all up, we've got the one, the only, the hippy dippy painter man, Tony! Yoo now, Tony's only new to the scene, um, but I, I tell you what, he's taking everyone by storm. So definitely do yourself a favor, as well as checking out all the other artists, make sure you check out Hippy Dippy Painter Man, because Tony, you are the man. You! <laughs> <laughs> so today's episode, what I've decided to do myself is basically do something that's a little bit out of my comfort zone. I'm going to be doing um, a ring pour, which is definitely inside my comfort zone, but basically I'm choosing a couple of colours that I don't normally use on a regular basis. Um, I'll tell you what colours I'm using when I'm showing you the products, but basically I've chosen two colours that um, are a little bit left field for me one colour that's one of my favourites, and two colours that basically will add sort of contrast and some tones to it. Um, I will be using my five chamber split cup. <laughs> I love this thing. This thing is like a, 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 a saving grace when you're trying to do a ring pour. <laughs> it basically keeps the colours nice and separated. And when, when you look at the, the end product, it's like, wow, did I do that? <laughs> All right, guys, now that I've told you what I'm going to be doing today, which is a, um, a ring pour using my five chamber split cup, let's head over to the table. I'll show you what products I'm going to be using, and then, yeah, let's get going. All aboard! Thanks, guys. All righty then. So here's all the products we're going to be using today. And as you can see, I'm just using acrylic paints again. The brand of paint that I'm using is from Global and also El Rado de Polo. <laughs> now I know how much you guys love how I say El Rado de Polo, so I'm gonna say it again. El Rado de Polo. <laughs> the colors that I'm using today, we've got deep green, white, turquoise, black, and fluoro green. And they're all the ones from Global. And now, in the intro, I mentioned that I'm stepping out of my comfort zone in terms of colors. And well, I don't normally use green in a lot of my pores. So today I've decided to add in a couple of greens, uh, which is basically the deep green and the fluoro green, and then chuck in one of my favorite colors, which the turquoise is definitely my favorite color at the moment. The black and the white is basically there to add a little bit of contrast and tone to all the other colors. And the Orado de Polo White, basically I'm using that as my base coat and possibly a flow extender if I need a flow extender. All the acrylic paints, so all of the globals and also the Orado de Polo have been mixed using Elmer School Glue. But basically I've gone for a little bit thicker um, pouring medium this time. Basically I've gone two parts Elmer School Glue to one part water. The order that I've got it here is pretty much how I'm actually going to um, layer the cup. So it would basically be deep green, white, turquoise, black, and fluoro green in that order. I've also got my blowtorch up the back there just to get rid of any air bubbles that possibly pop up. And then I've also got a little skewer here um, to basically do some um, manipulations and some sort of altering of the, the lines and all that sort of jazz. All right, guys, now that I've showed you the products that I'm going to be using, I'll clear off all this, I'll mix up the paints, and then, yeah, we'll get going. Thanks, guys. All righty then, so we've got all our paints mixed and ready to go, and the order that you see it here is actually the order that I'm going to put it into the cup. So basically, we're going to start with deep green, then we've got white, then we're going to put turquoise, then black, and then fluoro green. Now I put the turquoise in the middle because, well basically that's my favourite colour at the moment, but also it's the different colour 
out of them, if that makes any sense. So we've got the the two the greens that are the same family, then the black and the white, which are basically the opposite tones, and then the offset, um, which is the turquoise, which is close to green. <laughs> and I think having it in that order, it'll actually work really well. Um, in this bottle here, we've actually got the um, the base coat, and basically I will I will save a little bit um, in case I need a flow extender. I'm, I don't think I'll need a flow extender, but it's always good to have a little bit just in case. All right, guys, now that I've uh, showed you um, that they're mixed up, I'll clear off all of this. I'll fill up the um, the split cup, and then yeah, we'll get going. Thanks, guys. So let's go guys, wish me luck! Now, so I'm, I'm actually li liking what I'm seeing here, um, but what I'm actually going to do, I'm just going to do a little bit of sort of manipulations, um, just to sort of do some swirls and all that sort of stuff. Um, mainly because I want to get rid of that. <laughs> I'm a little bit disappointed that there's a, a drip there. Um, so yeah, so if I can get rid of that, I'll be happy.
I'm actually liking what I'm seeing so far. What do you reckon? Yeah! <laughs> Now let's spin this bad boy out. But actually what I might do, I might just do a little bit more just around the outside. Now I have a feeling that they will get um, pushed off, but I'm, not, I'm I'm okay with it if if I lose that. But I was, I just wanted to do like a little bit of um, a little bit more manipulating. <laughs> I reckon it looks pretty cool. What do you guys reckon? Yeah! Alrighty, so I just want to start the spin slowly, just to see where where it's going to spin to. Or like which way it's going to sort of go first. And you see it's coming down this way a little bit more. So what I might do, I might just... Lift it up and bring it down just a little bit, just to move the weight of it. Bigger spin. corner so we're just going to give it another spin going to do a bit of a, a, a blowtorch to get rid of some of these bubbles. This is well wicked! Yeah! I love, love, love the sides! These are wicked cool! I've got to get you down for a close-up to have a look at these sides, because these are like 
out of this world! Phew! So check out these sides! I actually really love this colour combination! This is well wicked! Gonna shake a little bit while I put you back up in the cradle. Guys, I'm super stoked with how this turned out! Yeah! I'm doing the happy dance. I'm doing the happy dance. Alright, so now what we gotta do, we gotta prop it up so we can, um, what do we gotta do? We gotta wipe our bum! You! Alright, so we're just gonna wipe the bottom. So we don't want a dirty bum. But the main reason we actually wipe our bottom of the um, the canvas is to basically get all of the, the drippings off. I mean, look at that. Um, because if you leave that there, what's actually going to happen is gravity is going to sort of take hold of that and basically... Um, keep pulling it away from the actual top of the top of the canvas um, and then when you wake up in the morning you'll actually have a completely different um, composition because basically um, all the paint is actually pulled off off the edge I'm just giving my hands a bit of a wipe because they are covered in paint And look at these hands! Yahoo! <laughs> you know I've done something good when my hands look like this! Yahoo! But how sick did this turn out? This is awesome! I love these edges. Like I I think I'm gonna do more pause with the, this color combination because this is wicked cool! You! So you saw how, how soon ago that I actually just wiped the bottom of the canvas and I'm just wiping it again and look how much I already got just from a couple of seconds. So that's going to keep happening because gravity is going to basically um, keep pulling it to the side. So make sure 
um, for the first sort of um, 20 minutes or so that you do it quite regularly. Um, and then um, in about an hour's time, do it again. You probably won't get anything from that one, but it's always good to sort of do one last one before you sort of um, pack up for the, the evening. Guys, I'm so happy with how this turned out. <laughs> you! Alrighty guys, I just want to take this opportunity to say thank you all so, so, so much for joining me on this episode. I had so much fun doing this. You! <laughs> I also want to take this opportunity to say thank you so, so much to, to Darren and Christy and also Bubbles for allowing me to come on to the, um, the Fluid Art Express. Um, I always have so much fun when you guys invite me to come play. And I'll tell you what, every time you invite me, I'm there. You! <laughs> Make sure you stick around to watch all the other guys on the train. Um, all the other artists are absolutely insanely awesome. All right, guys, one more time. Thank you so, so, so much for joining me on this episode. If you think I'm deserving of a like, please hit the like button. And also, if you haven't yet subscribed and you feel like subscribing, hit the subscribe button, then hit the little dark bell. That'll actually indicate when I upload new videos. I do try to upload a new video every week, so you will get a notification at least once a week. And if you think any of your friends or family might like to see how I created this, Please forward it on to them. I'd love for them to have a look at it as well. All right, guys, one more time. Thank you so, so, so much for joining me on this episode. And this is the fine art of distraction. <laughs>